And yesterday we saw <coughs> what the idea of meditation is. And we approached it from different angle. Our meditation is a cluster of practices, different practices that is helping us. It is helping us come up the spiral, come on this side of the line. <clears throat> Helps the invisible traveler become conscious. Soul becomes conscious. We see this as major, major step, necessary step. <clears throat> if the invisible player is not even conscious, then the big enemy, Ravan, is conscious. Game is like this. Inner game is angel or the demon. In, in mythology, they talk about this. Yeah, one side is the angel, one side is the demon. It literally happens inside our, this game. And at the present time, the world is of Ravan. So Ravan is ruling the life mind because the human race, we have crossed the line. So very, very easy method for us. <coughs> and to, to remind this, that in one second we can change the game we use the best intellect. It's a game of the intellect. What was mentioned just earlier, how do you interpret things? How are you seeing things? It matters. How does hell becomes heaven and heaven becomes hell? Because of the way you see things. What is your understanding and how you interpret? So, Paras is like a magical. <clears throat> what happens with Paras, you are seeing in full clarity, no confusion. Temporary world, you see it as temporary. And fictional world, you see it as fictional. Very clear, no confusion. And you are seeing the alokic world beyond the story. Alokic, we use the word, that is unearthly, that is subtle, but that dimension is timeless, it is eternal. And at this level is our true family. All that matters is beyond matter. <laughs> so here is the true family, here is the world of true father, true self. When there was no paras, there was a blackout, including the true self. Can't even see the self. Such was the state in darkness. <clears throat> and big milestone for, for each one of us, this true self becomes conscious. This is, this is where we are trying to reach. Word used is meditation, but we want to get the true self become conscious. What happens when the true self is conscious? You are seeing things in a natural way from beyond. That have, hell can become heaven. One minute you are seeing things, so, so many things wrong. Now you are seeing nothing is wrong. Down below is a story. It is so obvious for the true self who is conscious. We call him the soul. We call him the invisible player. He is also the invisible prince. He belongs to the king of kings.
he is very very lucky why to start with his world is of joy and love there is no reason for anything inauspicious because nothing can harm him he is not in danger and of any kind story cannot harm anyone in confusion he was creating his own <clears throat> a senseless panic frightened of the dragon in the story but now he is seeing the story and amused by it understand it is harmless and he is seeing his world where everyone is immortal everyone is noble all are alokic with patthar with stone intellect that dimension was blocked you they couldn't see now you can see that there is a true family and they are divine if there is no demon what remains is divine immensely lovely and loving nothing in auspicious that helps us grasp that that personality and uh, relationship and this is life and this is the world so he sees how lucky he is how lucky everyone is just to stay in this experience you are not only helping yourself but also making it easy for others to to wake up because you create light this all dimension is there but if your attention is not there as if you contribute to the darkness your attention is like light you are just experiencing what already exists that's why this one step soul becoming conscious changes the game completely it appears so small you know like here you may be seeing someone sitting silently if that soul consciousness is happening they are contributing to the larger world in a big way much more than biden and putin put together <laughs> all the world leaders put together <laughs> that is without exaggeration it is true because it is one minute two minutes 10 minutes you are creating this time in the higher consciousness it is of great value for the world if it is of value to the world you are definitely also benefited by this in the present and in the future there are there are benefits thank you <clears throat> you know one time there was some few of us walking and we were discussing about the power of our attention and we said let us demonstrate you know this was in cambridge there are some people walking you know they are all busy with their laptop so i said that's building on the top of some roof there let us stare at that roof you know something happening one bird sitting there let us just look at that bird and let us see what others are doing so three four of us were looking at that you know and everyone walking past there they're all busy they couldn't help themselves but turn their head to see what is happening <laughs> on the roof of that building <laughs> 
You understand? And we will all do this. If suddenly you see four people looking somewhere, and at all pointing somewhere, others will also start looking there. Such is the nature. And it is the law of the world. The, what has happened here is the extraordinary world, divine world, world with God, world of God, right in front of everyone's nose. It is their world. But <coughs> the attention of everyone is in this Harry Potter world. Everyone's attention is on the story. Agree? They are really interested in it. They are immersed in it. They keep thinking about it, complaining about it. But they are, that is what we call yoga. Their yoga Hello? is there. Yeah. And so, any ordinary person has no chance to experience this. You know, because light is shining here, there are 8 billion others are seeing here, and you also get dragged into this. So even here in this gathering, you may have intention to practice that, but you get dragged into this. But that's okay, you understand the law. You are understanding that you need to create little extra effort to overcome this. Pull, you are going against the current, then that's fine. You just need to change the gear. <laughs> but in the process, you also understand you are changing the direction of the herd. And uh, so, the changing the gear here is you need to use a few steps hmm, that we are talking about. Uh, yesterday we saw to understand Maya and what are the factors, all this ego, Ravan's <coughs> hates, they are all full, I mean, uh, determined to be in the reverse gear, Ravan. You understand? And it, it is not academic in each one of us that Ravan that is there is very determined to stay in this world, You're not just hanging around, but he has ideas of progress and success and, and pleasures and uh, is determined, you know. Anyone has noticed this determination of Ravan? <laughs> Each head may be determined in different ways. So we also said yesterday, the intelligence, you know, the most intelligent person, you know, we spoke of different levels of spiritual intelligence. The, the most intelligent person here on this planet is one who takes a position against your own ego. Take a position against some other, you know, dictator or something, that is some terrorist, that is, <coughs> Everyone is doing it. The media can just um, gather together some people and they all are ready to throw stones. But if you understand the ego within you is the cause of all problems, 100% of the problems causes ego within ourselves. To start with, it deprives you this minute the experience of this you know, truth and the divine and uh, your own greatness, it just blocks it. You can't see your true family as if it doesn't even exist. It is to this level. You are just thinking about ideas of progress in, in that den, you know, Ravan's den. We, we took different examples yesterday, how people like uh, the different celebrities, and you know, their success, 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 but it all goes in the stomach of Ravan. But this is the story with everyone. Some cases we can sort of see, they are very honest to observe and talk about it. But this is the story. 
if the if this attention is not there we don't even know the game then it doesn't appear we are doing anything wrong Ravan doesn't want any of us to question the, his life that appears to be normal and at the end they say, say we wasted our life that's okay yeah, life continues and you do the same thing afterwards yeah can you see this so whilst everything is going on life is going on outer life we are seeing that we have the option and the option is to take a position where i say this ego they have to shrink it is good for me in a uh, ravan we saw ravan is his department is sorrow different kinds of sorrow taking sorrow giving sorrow but taking sorrow is a big area different kinds of sensitivities different kinds of desperations that is ravan's department would you be able to define and explain ego a bit what, because the word <clears throat> is used in different traditions with different understanding and also the connection between ego and ravan exactly yeah. what what is ego in, in this yeah. model sure now it is a much bigger subject and uh, and detailed you know and we will give you the link where you those who are interested in this you can listen to it properly it is like a big subject but uh, today enough to know that each head of ravan you know that is what we are talking about this ravan has got this 10 plus heads <laughs> 10 is a the symbolic number but what is the uniqueness of these 10 heads they all are locked into this world with different things they all want more more something within the story we say Ravan is the embodiment of ignorance you know he doesn't even question it that he is confused why do we need anything from a story but each head it is admission to collect more and more his ideas of pleasure is within that story so Ravan is embodiment of you know, ignorance embodiment of bondage embodiment of sorrow and and we are and that each head is the we, we use the word ego in this way but and, and as was mentioned precisely how we define it and all it, there is there are you know discussions and i will we'll give you the link on this when we are seeing with the with that patthar when we are seeing with patthar gross appears to be important and all of that story that appears to be important and rest all that is just a nice concept you know it is nice to for meditation or for some other people you know but this is progress this is important this is serious when we use paras when we step back and see in full clarity you realize our real world is subtle alokic and the gross is a nice temporary experience it is literally you go to see harry potter or maybe act in harry potter but that is extra in a experience your world is not the harry potter you want to say anything you had anything <coughs> psychology i have heard the word ego <coughs> In psychology, what I've heard, the word ego 
has a different connotation and uh, without ego, human being cannot survive. And uh, so I thought it may be lost in translation. Generally, in Hindi or Sanskrit, Abhiman is where I have more than you, or who are you to insult me, etc. The connotation is that way with that word. So maybe Sarah was asking to clarify that. I don't know. Yeah, as we said, you know, we are not going in that subject. There is a we'll give the link. Yeah. Any other thoughts? Um, as one goes down a spiritual path and starts a meditation practice, uh, how do you check, check in with yourself to make sure that what's driving you is not the ego of, mm. oh, look at me meditating every day. Mm. Uh, how do you check yourself along the path? Yeah, sure. Ordinarily, it is ego. You know, for 100% of the population, most of the time, because we said we have crossed the line. Human race is in that side. We are not in that ego-based mind only when there is attention. You know, only when you are conscious. You know, we said an invisible player is conscious. And that is slippery. You are conscious, then you, you may not be conscious next minute. So these are, at the moment, we are building that muscle. But that is that is the way it will start, but it will become stronger, you know, we understand it. But good for us to know the contrast, then it is a success for us. If we understand what it is like to be conscious, and we are using the word legal lottery, you know, you are lucky to be, you know, this big prize is right in front of our nose, we mentioned. But all of that can be experienced if we are conscious. When ego is the master within our, our life, ego doesn't want this. That is the situation. His heart is not in this. He may do the practice or what is said, but he doesn't want. Because ego is based on things of the story. He wants cakes here. That is his, his idea of pleasure. You know, another ego, you know, some praise of some kind or different heads are locked into different things. And it, it ends there. That is their success. That is their idea of progress. They are not looking for God. That's why first step for us is change the change the game and change the who is running the mind who is in charge of the mind let us create a few more experiments with that hmm. i just have one thought um Just one, one more thought that I had is that it's not so much whether whether you're thinking of your ego in a positive way or a negative way. It's just the concept of of ego um, that's important because from a practical point of view, if you have zero ego, then you'll be subjected to bully and lots of other things in in, in the world here. If you have a lot of ego, then you'll let it get to your head, and then you'll have a lot of, you know, um, bad karma or whatever uh, you want to call it. I think the most important part is just recognizing it, right, versus trying to control it. 
Is that is that the right interpretation? It appears the subject of ego is popular. We may have to create a extra extra session. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll we'll create time to come to it at some point. Hello, welcome, Om Shanti. I was watching online. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well done. As we become more aware and we're letting go of different things, how do we share this with others so that we don't become Maya for them, or that they don't? become Maya to us trying to pull us away from this truth. Sure. Um, the first important thing for us is take the real benefit in ourselves and you know, let the soul become conscious. And as we are seeing here, it is slippery. And that Maya and Ravan are waiting to take you back on the other side. So, uh, but we are here to win, and so we, there is a method to win. And every minute you are doing the right things, you are becoming stronger in the game. We understood the game, so that is like a big success for us. But as that is happening, as you are coming into light, light never stays just for you. You know, say in your room, if there is a light, the you know, light goes, you know, goes in all directions. And the light of the sun doesn't stay just for the sun, it goes in all directions. Same thing will happen. You, you stay in light. And... Uh, and it that will create its results hmm? and then in the right situation you might just say some words here and there but they will be of uh, they will reach the right place but the real work happens at another level and it is beyond limits also you know it is not just your town your place you are it is like uh, there is no distance in this in this game unconditional you don't uh, rely upon any uh, technology or anything you know, it is, this whole method is unconditional upon anything here excellent let us create a few minutes of practice and uh, we can use this um, uh, approach uh, uh, sometimes use it as a meditation practice you know for you for your students at different times the first step for us is to create an environment of knowledge inner environment of knowledge if we come cold to something like this you know it may not gather the momentum you know? so that's why environment of knowledge sometimes it might mean even reading a short passage or your own notes the ordinary mind is very much thinking about Ravan's stuff as we said you know thinking about story you know wasteful Ravan's story thing that is not suddenly going to help the soul. So some of your notes even, they are useful. I'm talking here two minutes. Just go to most relevant things of the knowledge. But more specific, you want to create this light of knowledge, you are reminding that is what you saw today. It is all happening in a story. This is a theater. Knowledge tells us this. This is a theater performance going on. 
on a big stage. And what an amazing thing. And the actors for this performance are coming from beyond. What a thing, a wonder, you know, wonderful world. They are invisible actors who are coming from different world. And that world is world of God. They are just thinking of this, of knowledge. They all are immortal. What a fascinating thing. All are immortal and all are noble, divine beings. They come here and uh, as actors and play this part. And a variety of plots and props here. And they all will go back. They are just reminding of this knowledge. This is step one. One is creating the light of knowledge. Step two, we are understanding one function within us and that function is attention. And we are, we, it is important function for us. Like even in the last, you know, two hours, four hours, you will see, you know, many things are going on around you, but attention goes to different places. At one time, attention may go to some bird sound, another time, attention goes to something you see in front of you, or attention goes to thinking about some people at work. And so, this is like a, as if a torch, you know, you are sh shining torch in different places. It is like the attention. But ordinarily, attention is hanging around in the story world. For most people, you know, if it is Patta, story world is the only thing where the attention is, is directed. It is locked in that box. <clears throat> Our aim is to not to just to get locked in the Harry Potter, but there is the world beyond. There is the real world. And the first starting position is to bring the attention to the world beyond. It is like the boat, you are throwing the rope on the land, you know, and then it creates a link. You come closer to the land. If you got sailing experience. <laughs> so here, you know, we are directing our attention to this world, a logic world, beyond the story. That is all. Even this is not our the deep meditation, just uh, attention is going in this world beyond the story. <coughs> and that we are experimenting with it right now. And this world, <coughs> we see it in the image of a sky. We see that sky in color. If you are thinking of a color, choose a gentle red sky. Choose that as a color. Enough to know, most important is this is a region beyond the story. The word beyond is important part. And our attention is there. And this dimension is without limits and it is eternal, timeless, exists forever. Every second our attention is on this, this side, you are a winner. In this 
region is the true family. They all are like living stars. And we also know they are divine beings. Why divine? We don't just use some big word. We said there is no demon, no Ravan, no Ravan's desperations and disappointments. So what remains is silent joy and love. Childlike, they are harmless, innocent, carefree. Divine beings, all are lovely. We are just seeing this. This family and world have always been there, but attention was not there. Now we are just seeing this. So the step two is attention. Step three, we call it engagement. In engagement, what happens? You are there, your attention is deeper. You are not just seeing it, but you are in that sky. You are seeing the details of that world, details of the personalities. Understand why this world is called world of God and it is a world with the God. world of the true family. world of silent contentment. Vibration is of contentment, peace, joy. Everyone is lovely and loving. That's why region of love. Supreme region. And Paras helps us to see the reality of this. This environment favors the soul. In this environment, the soul wakes up. And for him, when he wakes up, it is so obvious he sees himself as an invisible player. For him to be like a tiny point is normal. All are like this. Living stars that appears normal. To be immortal appears normal. To belong to the sky appears normal. It is not just a meditation experience. He knows he belongs to this supreme sky. Like a biggest luxury, highest world. He belongs here. To belong to that family of divine stars that appears normal. All belong to this family. There's no one who is an outsider. All souls are part of this family. There is no us and them at this level. To be independent, separate from the story appears normal. Right now, Prashant is talking about, about soul, but Prashant is part of the story. And every episode has an end there. At the same time, the invisible soul is conscious and is aware of the story with independence, knows it is separate. 
story is down there and his world is separate. His, uh, his family is separate, eternal. He doesn't mix his life with the story. If it is full light, he is not mixing. In the darkness, he will start mixing. As we continue on our journey, the invisible player remains aware of this immensely beautiful truth. It is all that has happened. We are seeing the same world from different angle. Earlier it was the angle of Mr. Ravan. It was seen from that angle, right from within the story. Now it is the angle from the angel. Invisible soul is the invisible angel. And he is seeing the same world, but from beyond. He sees perfection all round and fullness. He sees the greatness of everyone, divinity. And his, his world is of love and joy. That is his life. Unconditional, happy forever. Such is his life. That's why he silently knows he's very lucky. He also knows everyone is lucky. He makes others lucky. Effortlessly. Just by he being awake, he makes others lucky. Thank you. Sometimes, you know, you come across some medical conditions and one doctor is treating it, you know, it goes on weeks and weeks, you know, he's treating and another person comes and maybe just one tablet and it all cleared completely. Minimum intervention, it is all cleared. What's the difference? I would say intelligence. You know, there is a intelligent intervention and then there are results, big results with minimum fuss. Something similar happens here also. If there, there is an intelligence, you help the world on a big scale, help yourselves and help everyone else with less fuss. You don't definitely don't need an army to help the world. There are, you don't need anything. It is action by inaction. You know what you are really doing, just lifting yourself. This there are four steps I might encourage you to write and go go back to this today itself. Revise this. You know, these four steps. And important uh, destination for us is the invisible soul waking up. That is where we want to reach. All the other steps helping it, promoting it, gathering the momentum. But invisible soul waking up is like an angel waking up. And angelic intervention is 
is effortless effort. Could you repeat the four words? Four steps. Four, just the words, the four words. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also, first step is the light of knowledge for the first step. Second step, attention, you know, which means you are bringing, directing the attention to the world beyond, beyond the story. <clears throat> Third step three, we use the word engagement. Engagement, you, we said you are there, but you are deeply into, your attention is there, deeper, engaged. And all this helps the invisible prince to become conscious. Invisible Prince is the invisible angel, is the invisible soul. At this level, everything is invisible, incorporeal, but <clears throat> it is important in the real. We all influence each other, as we said, we, whether we like it or not. Our consciousness affects each other but normally we are pulling each other down with the, because we ourselves are in that space our attention is in the Harry Potter and that's, it is how absurd it is to be locked in a story day in and day out but that is what is happening and we pull others also in that. You are understanding the secret and you are understanding that you have the option to come out of this. It's just like if right now you want to go to the next room, you will find a way to go to the next room. Understand? No? The same thing happens here. If you want to you will lift yourself out of this, no one can stop you. It is just a zombie. If you are not paying attention to anything, then then the crowd crowd decides for you where you should be going. The moment you are conscious and you want to do things differently, no one can stop you. Yeah, nice. Excuse me, what was uh, step four specifically? Could you, I'm sorry, to, could you recap and tell me what step four was? For the step Thank four, you. yeah, yeah. You know, hmm? yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm going in a little bit background to it. <clears throat> Ordinarily, the invisible soul is not even conscious. You know, he is drawn into this story so much that uh, Ravan becomes conscious. There are ten heads of Ravan, they rule our mind and life. And the soul has become zombie. Sita becomes a zombie Sita when she, you know, she crosses the line, we said. It is in the boxing, if you are not even aware that you are in a game, it means Sita is unconscious. <clears throat> so here, you know, the invisible prince is not even aware he exists. If he was conscious, he would be jumping with happiness because his world is so big. So he is not conscious. Our aim is to take the steps to make him conscious and every minute you are doing this just one minute and you may not be having that attention after that no problem you started the process and it will become easy next time you come back to it it will become easy and 
if all that is required is he becoming conscious then he sees this world it is already there you know, he doesn't need to create anything he sees the family he sees his life that is also the world with God but seeing his own greatness and you know, that he understands his story cannot harm him even the slightest all these different aspects he is able to observe and it is effortless he's just seeing you know, what he has got and in the process he is contributing to the benevolence that angle angle of the invisible soul from where he sees he sees perfection he sees that everyone is angelic souls everyone is flawless such is the truth but he is seeing it he sees the world is perfect he is, his mind is perfect and uh, but also story is perfect you know, every plot has its own place everything as a story it is perfect as a home it is not a perfect home that is what happens when Ravan comes Ravan consciousness comes he thinks this is his world this is his home and it is shaking it is changing it is going to disappear so he has lots of complaints Ravan cannot say his world is perfect because it as a home it is not not a perfect home but as a circus it is a nice circus so the world is about you awakening okay, so much <laughs> yes <laughs> so could you put some light on love karma while could you put some light on uh, law of karma while we as souls in this physical world like? yeah yeah good It is subtle, you know, there are many areas uh, people use the word law of karma, you know, but in, in most of the time at a superficial level, they think if I give something to someone, you know, I will, they will give it back to me next life, this kind of thing. Here, in the, the essence of the law of karma, is if I, I myself create bondage here, if I am in a wrong posture, just that's all. If I am in a wrong posture, nature gives me pain. And I say here, I am sitting here, I am in a wrong posture, body is in wrong posture, nature gives me pain. If I do anything that not in line with nature, then I put hand in fire, nature gives me pain to protect me. At a subtle level, nature sees you as an angelic prince and you should be in your full honor and intoxication, know your greatness. You are a prince, eternal. You, know, you are not from this world story world is not your world we are emphasizing this and this whole thing story it is not your you've got your world beyond so nature wants you to be like that and then nature wants to honor you you know natural law if you are following the law nature wants to honor you the moment you go in a wrong posture what is the wrong posture here? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Any other? What what happens in a patta? Hmm? Crossing the line. Yeah. Hmm? Ignorance. But you say I, I have come here as a guest. I'm here just for an hour as a guest. And I start taking this with me. <laughs> Putting this in the car. <laughs> 
then someone will say you are breaking the law of the guest. That a guest here, you know, he says, no, no, I, I was using this for last hour. So there is confusion, but whatever reason, you know, you are breaking the law of the guest. It is the wrong posture. So we come here as guests. Anyone is claiming things in this world? Do you start to believe this is mine, mine? Does it happen in California? <laughs> you know, so if you just believe this is mine and this is mine and this person is mine and this land is mine, you are breaking the law. Then you go further, starts creating ego based on those things. You are breaking the law. It is the wrong posture. And nature will... Your grandmother will tell you, don't do this, this is not yours, leave it there. <laughs> you know, you know, be in the right posture, grandmother will tell you. Nature will not spend time in explaining. Nature gives pain. <laughs> Understand, no? different kinds of pain until we change the posture. That is law of karma. So that happen in knowing we are this happens and we keep taking Yeah, as long as the wrong posture is there, message will come. Yes. I mean, nature first gives me signal, little signal. If I don't understand the signal, nature will give a bigger message. Until I change the posture. Yes, yes, the whole of the story world and I, within that uh, I can create, these are different bondages I create with people, position, processions and, uh, and uh, message will come through people, position, processions. To be with people, position, possessions is not a sin. But to to believe that you know that is that is mine or that, that is where we commit sin. We said yesterday, Ravan is embodiment of ignorance, embodiment of bondage, embodiment of sin. If Ravan is there, he is a sinner. As he breathes, he commits sin. Anyone? Uh, uh, anyone has seen Ravan? <laughs> it is nice to personify and see clearly. You know, within a, we are dealing with a subject that is rather abstract, you know, because these are the factors going around in everyone's life. These are abstract things. The nice in a story form. We are trying to grasp what is going on. Uh, may I ask a small clarification hmm? question? By the way, thank you for this model. I've been following Brahma Kumari's model for. I've been following the Brahma Kumari's model for quite some time, about 20 years. I love this model specifically. Uh, very refreshing. So thank you for that. Uh, quick clarification question. Um, elements and nature. Where does that play? So there are stories which I've got an AI background, so I think of algorithms, data and mm -hmm. algorithms. But Paras Buddhi, Patthar Buddhi, and then there is this play of elements and nature mm -hmm. that influences, mm -hmm. that we can influence rather, mm -hmm. I can influence the nature. Mm -hmm. How does that fit into this model? Yeah, yeah. And the uh, element is here. And the, and essentially, the drama is made of matter. Mm -hmm. And um, important ingredient in the drama and uh, nature uh, rules of nature are all at that level and you are right we are influencing it like right now for example I can change the posture I can change the position of that chair I can inter inter intervene in it yeah. and is that ego is that ego no, no not necessarily and then in drama you you act and there is a movement and we are influencing the movement. 
but um, all of that can happen whilst being about the line which means you know you're a guest like a guest may visit uh, in someone's house he knows he's a guest he doesn't claim anything there but he is free to involve himself and uh, be experiencing and he's involved guest is involved he uses things but he is also free to live same here invisible soul is an invisible guest he's an invisible actor he's an invisible player he's, he can use the ball player and you are using the ball that is not ego but he is a player he doesn't claim that this is my ball thank you i often struggle with that at work um, um, but we'll have a side yeah. conversation more that. more yeah okay thank you yeah okay yeah. you want to bring me yeah. that I want to have one now. Later. Yeah. Uh, first day we mentioned about you know sixteen uh, points in spiritual intelligence, but we have added one more. There are seventeen, so you can choose sixteen that you like. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you will have a copy of this to revise. But I will go through this, you know, we got half an hour, you know, we will go through all this 16, 17. One point written here is led by a vision of the future, not by the past. We saw it yesterday, you know, you, the day before, you grasp the vision of where you want to be and that directs your that is intelligent we said sees larger patterns you know so you have to be able to see the bigger map this is the biggest pattern otherwise others still within Pathar there are some who can see larger patterns <coughs> once uh, Tony Blair he was the Prime Minister and uh, some reporter asked him some question and he said i can't answer this uh, question today because i want to first understand the bigger map i i am not uh, up to date on the bigger map and then i will know that is sensible you know you have more facts you know you know your bigger map you know that you know the answer otherwise with a few facts you intervene you will not have a success so here you are understanding really big map in, in the big map you will see everything completely different in a small map that harry potter has become your world completely now you are seeing that is not even your world and that story is not your world it's got 180 degrees turned around gains victory over their own lower nature so here we are understanding what the lower nature is clearly defining using the word ravan is a good way and we said you know the ravan is stubborn is the embodiment of uh, things within the story as time progresses you will observe this within yourselves these two sides not like this weekend gives a structure to observe but then we'll have to observe and and then things will become more clear fourth recognizes their own deception your inner deception you know it appears that it is my opinion we saw ravan mayas you know maya says do it later you know you're weak it appears it is my opinion you know i am i know what is right for me but understand it is maya telling you this it is maya's deception going on you are deceived 
that is intelligent to step back and see that this is not even though it is coming from you it is not you yesterday there was one quote that was um, read and it was said don't trust your own thinking <laughs> is am i saying it right don't believe everything yeah don't believe everything you think <laughs> because what you you know maya is thinking for you you know so you have to understand this then it is clever don't believe everything you think and then be able to step back and internally you are saying what is ram telling me here internally you are questioning keeping this door open for a new way of doing things otherwise people can be stubborn with maya then it is not clever you know sometimes say someone is having some opinion and another person say what about this and he says yeah okay it sounds right you know maybe i should try this they are intelligent otherwise someone can be so stubborn i won't change now it is maya is bigger in that case and then no one would dare to give any opinion you know but here you say i don't believe in in uh, all i think <laughs> and uh, anything coming from maya definitely you see it as as a problem you know check with ram the fifth values diversity rather than despising it you know when ordinarily you know ego within us wants to be in the comfort zone and doesn't like anyone who is doing something different it is like a strange funny funny reaction from ravan he just gets annoyed with anyone who is different to him gets threatened by it in some respect don't know why i have not still come to understand that psychology by ravan is threatened by someone you know with different style different you know uh, what you know he does things differently eats differently walks differently dresses differently he gets annoyed by this but when you understand it's a drama in drama there are different personalities different characters some are acting as jokers some are acting as villains some are. and you are appreciating that part of a joker and another part of a villain and someone is acting as a holy you know so you are appreciating <laughs> the variety you know respects one's enemy how do you treat your enemy you know that's a reflection of yourselves we mentioned this on the first day let us question this how is it possible someone is creating problems to you and is determined to create problems to you today also how is it possible to respect him genuinely respect him how is it possible and what is your method yes good good actor that, that answers it very clear so you are understanding say here your friends we are making a drama for the cultural program and someone is acting as a camel and someone acting as a dragon hmm? I'm saying who will act as a dragon <laughs> <laughs> and someone is acting as a, you know crocodile I'm not going to say because you acted as a dragon last night I'm not going to speak to you mm. you know that is the drama but I know there are friends you know they they remain the same regardless of what part they played that is just being sensible but sometimes you know you might have seen with children children don't see this they really get bothered that you acted as a crocodile or you acted as a dragon 
and they don't want to speak to you for a few days. <laughs> Have you seen this? Some children. Because there is a, you know, the intellect is not, <clears throat> not clear. It has, things get mixed up when intellect is not clear. But we are doing the same thing. When intellect is not clear, we are mixing these two things like children. All that is happening is you are using this intellect, you are seeing that is the part and you are seeing your invisible brother behind this. So, uh, if it's like I do Surya, an enemy, if you don't confront him and if you don't punish him, like do this, uh, we are kind of we treat, if we treat him as a player, we forgive him, uh, or, but he should be punished, right? He should, we should repent or he should, he should be given what he is, what is due. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. And what happens is, and the first thing is, you know it is a, it's a story. Huh? Someone is acting as a dragon in the drama last night. Do you think he should be punished? No, it is a drama stunt and someone is acting as a crocodile, you don't feel. So first thing is you are seeing in clarity. First thing is you are seeing your real friends behind this. Your love remains, that has not changed. That is the first thing. And because you are in clarity, whatever you do, that will be right. And you might feel, I have to protect myself from this crocodile. <laughs> and I have to protect myself for some, from the dragon. That is enough, you might feel. I am not going to go to punish someone. Maybe, you know, but whatever you are doing, you are doing it from that space of clarity and that is right. Most of the time, it won't go to the level of punishing. You know, but you act your part, and so, hmm? so, like we don't need to punish anyone else, right? Like if somebody is crossing the line or in the wrong posture, yeah. nature will give the pain. Yeah, it's like an auto, like an automatic mechanism yeah. Yeah. of protection. Yeah, that nature will. Yeah. Someone took money or if we can take a real world example, maybe that will <laughs> yes, help, yes. right? Because we are using this word which is yeah, kind yeah. of we can understand. But if we take like a real world example, that would be more helpful to most of us. Someone takes money. Yeah, yeah, and you then you doesn't want to return it or like you owe money. money to someone and that person is not going to return it. Then return what? it. Yeah. Yeah. He goes on holidays. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Also, people, like a terrorist, for example. Mm, terrorist. A terrorist, for example. Yes. Or a murderer, right? Yeah. I mean, unless, yeah, the law will take care of it, but it's our duty to catch him and give it to the law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if we forgive. Yeah, like, I mean, the world is, there's a lot of evil people in the world, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, if, if cops also think, in this direction, then I think we have a drop. We have a problem, right? So, I mean, we should. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, we should catch him, give it to the law for sure. But uh, it's our duty to catch him, and then so forgive him, forgiving him, or uh, may not may not be ideal. Yeah, you know, yeah. What we were mentioning in the other day also is your first commitment is to stay in full clarity. That is the first commitment. You are yourselves secure. You know, that is uh, most important. And uh, you are not, you know, entering into the department of victim or a beggar. That is not happening. You are noble. You know. So that is that is in place. You know that no one can harm you really. You know. That is also very clear. You, as if you, your treasures are beyond beyond uh, harm. No one can 
change anything of your world. You see, the, all of that is very clear to you. You also know the other person, whoever is acting, you know, who is a robber, he is also uh, the same, very lucky, and your friend. There is confusion, there is a part that we are accepting this. <coughs> For all this, you have the feelings of mercy and benevolence for the person that is in place. Now let us come to the drama. Drama that is the part uh, one person is playing. You got a part <coughs> that is very clear to you. This is a part in the drama. When there is confusion, it appeared, this is all that matters and I have to get justice here, I have to survive. These kind of feelings were coming. You know, I have to survive, otherwise this person might create such problems that I might not survive. Survival instinct is kicking in at when we are. Then uh, energy comes to punish the other person, things like that. But now you are realizing that everything is in place for you. Now it's a drama and in drama I have to, this is a good action. The person who is acting is playing a good part of the robber. Maybe I have to inform the police and police will play his part. And you know, that is my duty. But you are able to put a full stop in your mind. <laughs> Having done that action, you are able to put full stop. Because nothing justifies me losing my truth because he is doing the, um, the robbing and if I lose my truth and get caught into whole days spent thinking about a robber then I am the loser you do the action put a full stop you come behind you can keep the soul <coughs> afraid where you forgive it, but on, in the physical level, do what is right. Whatever, yeah. yeah, yeah thank you, yeah, thank you. In the drama. One nice little uh, uh, slogan which we need to remember. One minute more with the dog, one minute less with the God. <laughs> you understand? So the dog is doing something, running, I am, you know, pulled by the dog for one minute. I got one minute less with God. Here is the world, God's world, right in front of me. In a, instead of being in that world, I am spending one minute with the dog. One minute with dog, one minute with cat, one minute with mouse. Three minutes are gone. <laughs> Three minutes less with God. And then one minute with robber, one hour with robber, if I continue to get drawn into this like this, then there is no time for God. That world is right in front of us, but we are deceived by this. Cat, mouse, you know, dog, and <clears throat> whole time can be, can be in the pot, you know, in the Harry Potter world. So intelligent will be when you are able to put a full stop quickly. <clears throat> a question, um, based on what you said, uh, this is a question from Zoom. Is the soul always with God or Ram in the home of light at the same time as playing a part in the drama? No, the, the, the important aspect in this context, the soul always belongs to God. That is important part. This is the eternal truth. Soul remains soul. See, that is like a reality. Wherever the soul may go, he may go in the drama, he may go in a subtle region, but he belongs to God. Just like you belong to a certain family, certain parents. You may be in another town, you know, but you belong to the same family. <clears throat> I know the, the, there may be another aspect in that question, but we can take it another time. <clears throat> yeah, I will quickly go through this. A few more points and cover as many as possible. Seventh point, he is able to stand apart from the crowd. 
we said we saw earlier you know people like to join the herd more one is a zombie he joins the herd unless you need to be conscious and understand that herd is going in the wrong direction that's all then you are able to take a position where you want to be and no one can prevent you the herd cannot pull you that is the thing but in zombie allows himself to be pulled it he has a sense of being a player in a much larger drama as opposed to ego do you know what is the position of the ego ego position is i am the center of the universe in the past people thought earth is the center of the universe but now ego says i am the center of the universe I agree everything that happens ego says how will it affect me <clears throat> you know some uh, earthquake he says is it affecting me or no then he doesn't <laughs> worry too much about it but someone says something the little it will give him more sorrow than earthquake somewhere else agree is it like that you go here also <laughs> So he has a sense of being a player, you know, peripheral player in that there are billions others acting there. Ninth, has a tendency to get to the bottom of things. You know, the one deals with superficial, you know, uh, whatever. But there are some personalities, even in any job also, some want to know properly what is happening, right? go to the bottom of things, some try to solve it at a superficial level. You know, spirituality means you go to the bottom of things. You understand things fully. Agree? You know, and when you are exploring it, then you need to be prepared for the gross and the subtle. More you go bottom, things are not as vivid as gross things you know so yeah good to go, go to the bottom of things yeah so let us so you can we want to repeat it yeah so just wanted to have this uh, clarification on this point because we are saying if you need to go to the bottom of things you need to question right mm -hmm. why what mm -hmm. and how Whereas we are saying, uh, Baba was saying today is Murli that we should not be questioning. Why? Yeah, 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 yeah. Very, very good. Like you might have noticed over here, we encourage you to you know, ask questions, understand things. And we said we need to bring ourselves to a level where we are very clear and very sure. So the questioning is there. But when it comes to Harry Potter drama, you are watching a Harry Potter drama and Harry Potter goes through the left window. Why he went through that window? That is like a futile question. Why is that person is with a blue hat? It should be green hat. You know, these are like futile. That is the way the drama is. You know, I just clap and go home. <laughs> there is no point in you know questioning the different plots of the drama yeah so at that level you understood it's the drama it's a waste of time but knowledge wise you we need to understand it but isn't the world of all psychology, human behavior and things that there's a whole field of study which kind of asks, oh, why did you behave like this? Why? What is the background of me? There's a whole area, there are multiple areas of studies that is trying to uh, address that. 
why harry potter took that left turn right <laughs> yes yeah yes because the psychology that is taught in the new universities is patter psychology you know it's works at a level <clears throat> where that harry potter has become the whole world but when you see the bigger map you realize the real psychology is at another level you understand that and then you are able to accept the variety in the drama it is also because it is superficial psychology it doesn't answer many of the riddles of the human human behavior so in a way so bottom of things number 10 stands back from a situation and you know, yesterday we said stepping back you know before and uh, you know, the practice of being a guest practice of being the invisible trustee invisible traveler that helps you step back you have a place to step back to you know more, more clearly a very important point this one he learns and grows from mistakes setback and any suffering how ordinarily people don't like to have any criticism or setbacks or suffering or defamation they don't like it things should go all easy but here you are saying things are good you know any anyone criticizes it is good is it good why from 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 and feedback it helps me to check the one of the smaller minds to the minds in the most true and see the faults of it there's nothing in the world sure if your aim is to become free from ego and free from ravan if that is your aim is that your aim then if someone else is helping you to remove your ego you know criticizes you that that can only help the ego to go yeah because your real you is beyond harm and never a victim so it is he is helping you isn't it you should be grateful to him agree in us so say here there is someone is criticizing someone is defaming there is some suffering it is all helping the mill <laughs> to get uh, things moving forward <laughs> if you don't remove it someone else is helping what is the grace for the mill material material for the mill <laughs> yorkshire in an expression <laughs> Those exp expression from Yorkshire. What was it? Wrist for the mill. Wrist for the mill. Wrist. 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 this is intelligent you know intention to give <clears throat> and those who study positive psychology they find that who are the happy people on this planet not those who have power position possessions but those who are givers they are the happy people on this planet and they find that they are happy regardless of their personal situation you know and uh, in some giving doesn't involve you know you have to wait to become millionaire no you are walking uh, uh, on a pavement someone is walking past you 
do you have feeling of respect for him your just five seconds interaction do you have respect or do you feel others should respect you this is the giver or taker understand now giving doesn't need anything we need to first save and give it is a spirit of giving and uh, opportunities are there all the time giving in a different levels different things in your society in your town in your little village street there are always opportunities to contribute but in the, in those who are in that space they have understood a secret and they say in studies they say there is a magical result what you get is something magical you know, that you do not get by other methods so here you know, that is intelligent those who have that position of giving you know, Ravan doesn't like to give not that much <laughs> Even if he's giving, he's making some calculation what he will get back. Thirteenth uh, point, he transcends the physical and the mundane. That's what we are seeing here, going beyond the mundane and the physical. Experiences higher states of consciousness. Fifteen has the ability to divinize everyday experiences. We'll take this into more detail, you know, we'll, at the uh, last session. He is authentic in virtue. The moment you come beyond the ego, you just become authentic. Ego is ego cannot experience you know, spiritual experiences so there is a something false when it is ego based effort the moment you step beyond the ego it becomes authentic the experiences become authentic you don't need anything from anyone so you don't need to pretend it is clean for yourselves and it is it is good for the world <clears throat> <clears throat> what we have seen so far and uh, what is the implication is that the universe is positive everything is good this is why we can even aim to to be good or to make a better world because the natural state of the world is positive truth is beautiful and nature is our friend so everything is in our favor but we have the option what is the option we have we have freedom and what is the option we have we can see everything upside down if we want that option we got <coughs> why do we do this why do we see everything upside down to get clarity <laughs> upside down why why on the other side of the line yes on the chain and not that Yes. Lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. Attitude. 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 It's patar. Patar. Yes, you know, the combination of factors. The darkness comes, and Ravan takes birth within this darkness, and then Ravan is stubborn in error. That is the way you define Ravan. Stubborn in error. So holds everyone at ransom in that position upside down with the idea of progress or some kind of pleasure.
that is his notion you know and uh, what was mentioned earlier to be able to detect the deception within yourselves that is intelligent i'll tell you one story you know and uh, this story helps us understand this uh, game and this story is written in a book by one physicist by name peter russell he used to be in cambridge but now not in cambridge retired i think he has written many books if some of you you know might have written and uh, read this uh, author peter russell and this book is on planet earth environment what is that? he wrote this many years ago more than 20 years ago now people are talking about environment but he was writing it is and the first chapter first page is a story and in this story one train has gone off the rails and he is heading towards a cliff and uh, seeing this the driver jumped out so there is no driver in the train <coughs> and train is off the rails in big danger but the passengers in the train are having a party and uh, oblivious to what is happening to the train and don't want to be disturbed you know he, he this is the scenario and he asks a question or he, he says our planet earth is in the position of this train you know it is heading towards a cliff but everyone is in the party is it like that in california anyone in party in? <laughs> yes actually the whole, whole world whole world you everyone is in the party you know you know our different attachments you know it is all party spirit they want to cling in this some places party may be bigger but party attitude is everywhere and he asks a question if you are in the train what will be and if you understand what is going on what will you do to yourself if your loved ones are in the train what will you do to them now this is where the intelligence comes in it is the same train one kind of person is in the party in a who cares you know just ignores everything that is going on that is not very intelligent because then you regret what you what you know you are in the party and last second you realize you you are you know in a difficult situation then it is too late so given the factors you understand what is happening here you take steps now then you are intelligent so now in this situation your loved ones are in the train if you are to give them a cushion make them comfortable give them a cake in another set of uh, events it might be a sign of love but in this present situation it is a deception you know you they will be in more danger this train in that it comes with a label that there's an end to every episode so we don't need some experts to tell us that we are in danger the story comes with the with the details every episode has an end and end may be very soon but it has an end episode and for just because it is a story that is not a place to to uh, create bondages so he says in that uh, or the if we see our scenario bigger scenario the spiritual map this is the train every second you are you are remembering the home you are coming out of the train those four steps we saw 
they are taking you out of the train. Every time you are using Paris, you are coming out of the train. Or directing, you are in the upward spiral. It is taking you out. Your Pathar, you don't even see anything other than the train, other than the party. You are so focused in the party, Pathar. Whereas Paris helps you to understand the world beyond the train. Every time you are seeing yourself as a guest, yourself as a traveler, you are stepping back, you know, you are coming out of the train. There is an intention to come out. When you are seeing others as invisible travelers, you are coming out of the train, helping them to come out of the train. When I am just thinking of what is happening here, just nothing, I am not doing anything bad, just thinking what someone did, what someone said, yesterday it was very nice and the job is going well, you are in the train. When you are creating new bondages, you are tying yourselves in the train. How do you know you are creating bondages? Your thoughts will go there more. You will see that as a support. Ravan's pleasures are in that train. You know, some kind of oh, I get a promotion, you are excited about this. New shopping, you are excited about this. You know, something or something within the train. Your your thoughts go. You know, people, position, possessions. You know, they can become the basis of getting tied. You get uh, into the train with a knot, which means when you choose to come out, you understand the danger, you want to come out, you can't come out because there is a knot, a tide. And everything is counted in this, in the law of karma, you are talking, what is the law of karma? Here everything gets counted, nothing is without any reason. We spoke about Raz, that is a subtle game. Every score is counted and there are prizes and penalties for every aspect. And the score is, are you friend of Ravan? Are you feeding Ravan? You know, or are you feeding the angel? That is the question. Ravan wants to be in this party. Agree? Ravan is a party animal, all the ten heads <laughs> of Ravan. <laughs> you know, so, you know, if you are supporting Ravan, then Ravan gets the score. You know, in your thoughts, in your behavior, Ravan gets. You are checking, you know, it is our ordinary life appears completely normal, but that can be hijacked by Ravan. You know, Ravan's pleasures appear to be my pleasures, this kind of uh, position. But we saw yesterday that Ravan based life is in a reverse gear, in full speed, is going in a wrong direction. And, uh, and that, is, uh, that is something to check. Do I want to go in that direction? Because this is all counted, there, are, there is a calculation. And Ravan means end result is penalties. Sometimes, you know, there's in schools, there's some children, they try some drugs and some, they try some cigarettes, they are young. They are shown an addict, you know, one person who was like them 10 years earlier, see this life of his, you know, and now is into such degradation and uh, you know, they, they just are shown, this is what the destiny is, end result of it is. You know, it is not a joke, but this becomes the result. We also need to remind ourselves, if there is misery in this world, it is not because they are different to anyone else, they are the same, same travelers, but just Ravan wins. Ravan has got a score and that's why there is a misery. 
and need to be aware of it. There's another kind of action and that is uh, lust, sex lust and uh, addictions. And these actions become like a double knot. These are like Ravan's big department, you know, uh, Ravan as if leaves for his addictions in different form. And they lead to like double knots. One gets trapped in this sinking boat with the bigger knots. Just means becomes more difficult to come out and uh, bigger penalties. So we get a broad idea of what is happening here. What is the wisest thing that we can do? We come out of this sinking train. You know, signal is enough. We don't need to look for evidence. We understand the signal. It is time to come out of the train. What does it mean, come out of the train? We have to undo all the bondages and ignorance. That is what it means, come behind the line. <clears throat> so someone comes completely out of the train. How, 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 how will it look like? Someone comes out of the train completely. Happy. Happy. What else? Freedom. Freedom. Yes. To be concerned how to get your other family. Others out. Yes. Any other? You might not have uh, many to follow. You might be the only one. So it's that kind of uh, no support that way. Yes. Care to go in the, the new. Yes. Most important, you know, that he will be able to see himself the invisible traveler that is the most important it is not prashant who comes out of the train the invisible traveler comes out of the train and he understands in this train not one atom can belong to him to put any kind of claim in this temporary world it means you have crossed the line there is a confusion. To be behind the line, to come out of the train, means come out of ignorance. Ravan, if there is ignorance, Ravan is there in some form. So here you are understanding, not one atom in this story world can belong to him. If not one atom, he knows people, position, processions. Nothing in that story can belong to him. He is more like a witness observing the story. This is his position inside. And then he is in the, uh, happy to be there, but internally he has come out. So he comes out of the train and he comes to God. He says, before it is, I came out. So God says, very good. You know, it is before it is too late, you have come out. That's uh, full marks. But now you go back in the train. Hmm? You go back in the train and go to the same town, same job, same body, same family, everything the same. Why? Why is he sent back? He has come out of the train you know, for, for his safety. He says, go back in the train. Enjoy, hmm? Enjoy both. Enjoy both. To bring others. To bring others. Check uh, whether he is uh, <coughs> getting trapped into the scene. <laughs> Get deceived, yeah, yeah. See it from a different perspective. That's right, yes. So earlier it was a Ravan based life. You know, by coming out of the train, all that has happened, you removed Ravan. That's all. Nothing has changed. Train is there, you are there. So now that Ravan is not there, you are sent back in the train. 
and you go back in the train, the invisible traveler goes back in the train for a mission. In a given situation, the only reason you would go in the train is to take others out of the train because there is a darkness and uh, not a many people know what, what options are. So you are going back in the train, you are going in the same world but you are seeing everything there is not yours, it is there for the task. The body is there for the task. With the attitude as if it is of God, you are a trustee using it for the task. Full attitude. Because if that attitude is lost, it becomes mine. And then you are bringing in Ravan there. So you are having the attitude, this belongs to God, this belongs to God. You are looking after it as a trustee, giving it what it needs, you know, as a trustee. You know, this applies to the whole lot. It can be the family, it can be the country, you may be doing a job, but nothing there can be mine. It all belongs, inner attitude is it is God. God doesn't say anything is his because it's a story. But your attitude is it is God's. You are using it for the task of God. That's why you have gone there. So he sends you in the train. He says, take two cautions when you are in the train. First caution is stay near the window. So the, the moment the bell rings, <laughs> yeah, Sarah, <laughs> the moment bell rings, you are, <laughs> you are free to come out of the train, some signal. You shouldn't be trapped from the rain. You, you give help, but you are ever ready already. Stay near the door. And second caution. Don't join the party. Yes. <laughs> Don't join the party. Because they will be coming out in the party, new kinds of cakes and what else? You know, some samosas. You know, new things are coming out. You know, some new kind of iPhone and chat GPT, many things are coming out in the party. You are aware of what is going on, but that is not the reason you are going there, not for the party. You are going there for the, for, you got a mission for which you are going and you are remaining safe. If you are doing this, if you are able to maintain, you, know, you may go there with their mission, but Maya is active, Ravan is there. Let us see how much you can stay behind the line and be there, how much you are deceived. It's just one song is enough, you know, to, for you to completely forget your mission also. Or, you know, yes, Maya has to send bigger army for you, more than one golden deer. Maya will try everything. There is a game of intelligence, how sensible you are not to be deceived, stay behind the line. So it is like a nice thought experiment. Hmm? You are seeing the train, you understand, we are already into the party, we are understanding the option of coming out of the train and then coming back in the train and only then you can you can protect yourself after that come as a train as a incarnate who is the incarnate the invisible invisible traveler is the incarnate in the whole setup of the physical world for a very clear mission as we as was said before any intelligence you know, brings rewards, makes your life richer, better, 
makes the lives of others better. Here we are talking about big danger and just your attitude, your vision, your awareness is immensely of value for this larger world. You want to add anything? You want to say anything? Yes, come in. <laughs> As a traveler, would you be comfortable uh, getting married and making commitments to people with the sensibility that you're just a, a temporary guest and uh, you know, wondering how, yes, w whether you're kind of floating through doing missions <laughs> and uh. Uh, or if you actually make intimate, committed relationships. Yeah, yeah. Not in the present situation. In the present world situation, one who is, who is uh, having this clear understanding, one who understands what is happening, no, he will see his, his time has different, different relevance. Mm -hmm. What is that commitment? It is in the story. Hmm? So he is not going into that, that direction. You know, he has commitment, but commitment to the real people and uh, real brothers, that is where his real commitment is. In clarity, you are seeing different scene, different scenario. And uh, it is like life and death. You know, this is the scenario of the it is, it is a race against time. They are unconscious and uh, they, he understands he has the duty to help them become conscious. That is his priority. Not getting married, that is not his priority. As was said, you know, married but also if you are talking about lust and all, that is the worst thing that can happen to anyone, anytime. But in the present scenario, it is, it can put him in more danger. What about um, activating love in other forms? What about um, using the heart to elevate the mind? Right. This is all very intellectual. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, it's, it's nice, it, this is all very intellectual, but what about feeling and vibrating higher because of the love that we're into? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Where does yeah. that come in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what happens is when we have crossed the line in a, the whole thing, a game is a different game. It is like the love is also there. But it is mixed with uh, Ravan, mixed with uh, the ignorance and confusion. You are, you don't know how much it is in the world of Harry Potter and how much it is for the real, your brothers. There's confusion. That's why the first step for us is not the start with the heart, but come into full light first see clearly understand it is otherwise it becomes sentimentality out of sentimentality you are acting and you are ignoring the what really needs to be done so when you have seen in full light you are now realizing your real brothers and then there it's a life of love full love clean love authentic love not mixed with any confusion, not mixed with any selfishness. When Ravan comes in, Ravan's department is confusion. You know, we, we saw yesterday, Ravan's department is embodiment of ignorance, embodiment of bondage, embodiment of sorrow, embodiment of selfishness. Just like, you know, if a person has, say, cancer, 
that at that time priority is not love, not a priority is that is not a priority. First, we have to remove his cancer. You know, so the last part of the, the cancer has to be removed. Let him be healthy first, and then he can do many things. At present, Ravan is like a bigger illness than cancer, and that has to be removed. This is the way you are seeing. In full light, you are seeing this with that seriousness. Things like Ravan's lungs. Um, Ravan's love is more like taking sorrow and giving sorrow and uh, true love is um, like I'll just give a very sm small simple life practical example very in essence um, like um, Rini's uh, daughter was um, for some reason very upset and then had gone to the room to ask her to take her to the library and she said that please leave my room i'm just saying it much more politely <laughs> and uh, and so then um i went downstairs in the kitchen and i was like okay i mean it's just a scene that's playing in the drama and that's just a part but what is my true relationship with that soul in my home of light and uh, and in that experience, you're just immersed in that experience. Your mind is not going to, why did she say this to me? I'm her mother. <laughs> she should know how to respect her mother. Instead of that, it's just like, you are just focusing your attention on the truth, which will never change. And that is our eternal relationship with each other. And then she came down and she asked me to take her to the library. And I did not have a trace of anything in my mind. And she said that um, after some time, she's um, asked me, so why aren't you getting angry? And, um, and I told her, actually, I've learned how to love myself and to love you in a right way. <laughs> and, um, and she said, because I said, if I get angry at you first, I have to create that anger within me, and then I give it to you. So I first burn myself, and then I burn you. I don't think that's the definition of love. <laughs> And so it's, it was more like an expectation less, anger less, role less, love, where your role is becoming dispensable and you're loving as a soul to soul. And, uh, and one really found that um, after some time, she again came, another scene, but just in essence, she said that, I just want to apologize. And I said, I don't remember what you did. <laughs> I've completely forgotten. And she was, yeah, and she was holding on to it. And as she was upon, I said, it's gone, it's past, it's finished. There's nothing to remember. So just kind of um, think soul to soul is very beautiful and unconditional love. That is really beautiful and thank you and super long to hear. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was more speaking to, you know, what I was thinking, I wasn't even thinking of the drama within relationships or connections with souls. I was thinking of love to nature, ourselves, you know, stuff like that. Sure, sure. Where can that come into play to help us? Right there. Yeah. And the, the, the moment you step behind here, it's a region of love. And not that much, you know, talking about love, but it's a region of love. We said earlier, the moment we are insecure, that actually blocks our feelings of love. You know, in the present world, people may love in one situation and not, not love in another situation. One person, not another person, you know, because it is blocked by, by ego. Ego feels everyone is making him insecure in some form. When you step behind and moment you feel no one can harm you at all, you feel loving. We give the example, if there's a tiger in a cage, he got big teeth and he wants to eat you also, but he's behind the cage. You know he can't harm you, you love him, you want to feed him because you know he can't harm you. Same happens here 
uh, invisible soul, the moment he understands this, no one can harm him, even the slightest, with words or actions, not, then what remains is, uh, is a life of love, full love, authentic love, not mixed with any, any, you know, sort of commission or any selfishness. Others, as was, as we saw, others may love or that is each one's, you know, that is their life. But you love, that is what you experience. It will be nice. Any other thoughts on love? You know? Or anyone would like to sing a song on love? <laughs> <laughs> this morning I did a little uh, med I smelled every rose over there and I did a little meditation and I enjoyed the birds singing and I was just like, why aren't we out here? <laughs> Not together. <laughs> yeah, right, yes. Yeah. And so that's kind of where yes. my questioning is coming from, that experience this morning. Right. But also what will happen in that space, every scene is, is good. Birds are nice. No bird is also nice. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the cat is also nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We'll, we have seen so far different aspects of of our life and and we are seeing that the world is the best world for us we all are very very lucky it is the our intellect it's a game of the intellect one intellect can change things you know one way and another intellect can change it another way <clears throat> you know in cambridge we had one friend you know and uh, he, he was interested in something similar you know and sometimes if i'm going somewhere i would invite him to come for a ride but he had a psychiatry background some problems you know in the past and some months later that problem came back again you know? so he would be sending messages to people and in those messages there was some violence you know and others started saying well, we have to be careful here he's sending messages like this and there is uh, something not in control of him so when we spoke to him, he was not in control. You know, gradually it is moving in that direction. So now I, we have to be a bit strict with him. We have to tell him, that the, but he was not in control. And uh, he would come at middle of the night, ring the bell. So we had to get him police involved now. And police and, uh, you know, th there is some system there where the, the police and the doctors can sanction, means they can uh, give treatment without his permission. So he got into the, the police world, you know, the, the psychiatrists, and and he was stopped from seeing us by by police. And I could see, you know, with the best intention, couldn't do anything. And his world changed from one level to another level within a space of a week. You know, he was having, you know, I would say, very good life with with us. And suddenly, his world is prison cell, police, you know, the forcible treatment in a psychiatry ward, and uh, the banned from seeing his friends. 
the, all that happened just because the intellect shifted. Just intellect out of control. The world changed completely, outer world. At present, what is possible for, for all of us is the other way around. It disappears to be a nice world for us, but this is not the highest offer. Our starting position is much, much greater, superior, nobler, divine. That is what our reality is. That's why this image is given sometimes comparing the insect world and the eagle world. It is literally like that. We are not in contact with that world just because we are using different intellect, other intellect. And at that level, you know, we think we are having a party within that, you know, planning Christmas. You know, we have the option to to get back our highest and uh, and a celestial celebration for the self and for others. That is the it is a game of the intellect. You know, we start with it, and one minute, two minutes, ten minutes, as we start playing with it we understand what is possible. We will also realize what we thought in the past as a success, you know, pleasures, progress, it was actually the success and progress and uh, happiness of Ravan. It was actually going, taking us in opposite direction. You know, you, to understand that is is intelligent, spiritual intelligence.